Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I'm out here this morning doing a little bit of seed saving. Y'all, I know that late in garden seasoning and you sick of gardening and it's hot and you're ready to pull everything up and throw it out, tired of putting up stuff. I, I, I will get it, I'm there too. Uh, I've had enough of it this year. But it's important that we save seed. I've still got tomatoes coming in. I've still got some stuff I've got to harvest. But now this is some bits and ends and pieces out of the kitchen, like zucchinis that we cooked. We'll see there's good seed in that uh, right here. Now I've got to go make some labels to lay on these plates and I'm gonna let them dry. You want to strain that juice off. Uh, you can do these the same way I do tomatoes and I'll show you in a minute how I do that. I've got a couple laying here. Ideally, you want to pick the best fruit that you've got off your plant and take it in there and save the seed out of it because it's going to create the best plants, the genetics. But I'm going to I'm gonna just strain some of this juice off. Now, I want to mention something with these seeds. If you notice in there, some of those seeds are real flat and thin. they probably not no good. They're probably not going to grow nothing. So you kind of got to weed through them. This down here is Nationals. That up there is my Orient Express. Oh. But you can see some of those seeds are real flat. There's nothing in it. And then some of them look really fat and, and thick in here. So once they dry, I can tell them about it. I've, I have the most difficult time with cucumber seeds. Oh. But anyway, I've got them up here on my thing drying. I'm just digging through this and I'm basically pulling out. And like with this, you can tell like some of those seeds, that is a really fat, that's gonna be a good seed. Uh, this, it's in here like this. You see that paper, th that ain't no good. That's not gonna grow anything. So when you're saving your seed, pay attention to what's going on and what you're getting. But I am fixing to go here in just a minute and pick some more tomatoes. I've got about a, probably about a bucket full down there that needs picking. I had some that I planted late, so I'm just, if you squeeze that, the good seeds will usually pop out of that stuff. I mean, I'll throw the rest of that to the chickens. But let me get these done, and then uh, right here I've got a couple of tomatoes. See, these tomatoes went bad sitting on the counter. Uh, I've got a strainer in there, so we'll go in there and we'll go through them in the uh, in the shed, in the sink. I'll show you how to do that. All right, right here, I've got a squash, and I just cut it open. Uh, you have to let these plants that you're going to get the seed out of mature on the vine pretty well. Uh, you know, when they get really too big to eat, they that's when they make good seed. So some of these seeds are probably going to be questionable. Now, when you save your own seed like this, unless you really figure out which ones is the good seeds and which ones ain't, you're going to probably have to plant a few more seeds because some of them's probably not going to come up. Now, once you figure out to identify that, oh, yeah, that seed's good or this one's bad, then it ain't so so much trouble. But, dog, don't forget to save your seed. That's why I'm making this video. Oh, it really ain't about to teach you how to save seed because it's not really that complex. Uh, it's just to remind you don't forget about your stuff out there before you bush hog it all down because y'all we get into a place where you're not going to be able to go buy every seed you want uh, I have got I'll show you some of my pea seed I've been shelling some of them out alone uh, I hadn't donated no whole great lot of time to that I don't think none of them in that little part's any good yeah there's one or two you can feel them seeds and tail when they just ain't nothing in them And I've got some butternut squash in there I've got to get. But I have got to get something and label. Y'all do not forget to label your seed. Because like these two plates here, it ain't going to be but a day. And I, I won't know which one of them seeds is what. I got seeds stuck all of my fingers. So make sure you label them. I just know right now I got more national seeds than I did Orient Express. But tomorrow I may not remember that. So <laughs> don't forget to label them. Let's go in here and do a tomato because I'll... Uh, there's a couple different ways to do a tomato, and i just show you the way I do it. I'm not necessarily saying that this is the right way, just this is the way I do it. While I'm out here running through this garden, I want to take a minute and show some of y'all Mr. Jimmy Honeycutt. I want you to see, I left one of these big old 
Kushal squash, you call it striped squash. I don't want to pick it. I'm going to let it grow. I'm going to save seed out of this one, so I'm letting it mature. Look how big that thing got. I want to show y'all one more thing. Y'all, this right here is known as watercress or water spinach. Oh, uh, this, I, I planted one little row of seeds, and look at here. They say it's invasive, so I got it contained in this little area where I can keep a handle on it. You see it is pretty much bug resistant because I have several things that the bugs have just eat up. Y'all, this has grown well, it's hot. And look how well this is doing. Make a heck of a salad. So hound job, thank you for sending me these seeds. Uh, I still have the rest of the seeds. I did see on Hoss Tools channel they were talking about it um experiment with it y'all this has made a wonderful salad there we have no other greens lettuce don't make it in mississippi in the summer i encourage you if you like salad <laughs> hey this is good eating you can eat it raw um uh, i have not cooked this i have not like took it in there and made turnip greens i don't know why i can do it but for a salad green this is money for summer in Mississippi. Oh, uh, and it's good. Uh, one little row and look look how much it produced. Little seeds about the size of mustard seed. You go back and watch. So Hound Jog sent me these seeds. Thank you. Uh, I hadn't seen her comment in a little while, so I hope she's all right. But um, I just wanted to show y'all this. I'm going to turn around and let you get a good look at it. Now, I am starting to get a few bugs in here here lately, but y'all, it is not bad. Like when you pick it up, you don't see eggs stuck all to it and all that kind of bad stuff. Uh, and these have been here a while and they have really multiplied. It is an arrow shaped leaf stalk plant. They branch out really good. They multiplying in there. I'm going to let them grow as long as they want to continue to grow here. I'm going to see how long they last. But this arrowhead shaped leaf. Y'all, this, this is this is good stuff. I encourage you, if you like salads and you in the hot south where salad greens don't grow, plant this. Watercress or water spinach. Now, this is kind of the way I start right here. This is a brandy wine. See, I got that labeled. These are some I have already done. That one says hillbilly potato leaf. There's Cherokee purple, big rainbow, better boys. So let's take this one over there and let me show you how we do this. Now y'all, there ain't no such thing as it being clean up in here. So, I mean, it's clean, but it's junky. Uh, let, me, let me be clear on that. All right, I got a strainer thing. Now, I don't know what number that screen is, y'all. I wish I could tell you. It ain't wrote on nothing. This this comes from the Dollar Tree or something like that. Uh, I don't be spending a lot of money on stuff because it ain't no better than cheap stuff, in my opinion. Now, I just run all my scraps down my sink right now. You can get you a bucket and put your scrap pieces in. But you want to cut, and I wish I had something to hold that up. Let me, let me, let me hang on. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of coffee cans and milk jugs. I reuse stuff. Look how that fits right off down in there. So what I can do now is I can set that right there for a moment. So what I'm going to do, let me bring over here a little closer. Y'all won't be able to see the cutting board right there, but you can, you know how to cut a tomato in two. So see with that, and then I just throw the pieces in there. So what, what you want to do is you just want to expose those seeds. And then I'm just squeezing the inside, the juice part where them seeds are, into that strainer. And if I get y'all over here too close, you'll be in my way. I don't want y'all to get in my way, I'll allow be fussing at y'all. Y'all ever been fussed at? Kind of like holding the light. I ain't never really been on the holding the light end of the deal, but I've tried to get somebody to hold the light and fussed out pretty good about it, so I get it. <laughs> oh, did you see me skeet them tomato seeds all out in the sink? 
Now look at there. You gotta be careful. I'm slinging them everywhere. I didn't do that when I wasn't filming. And y'all can believe that if you want to or not. I don't. <laughs> but the, the tomatoes are in this. I don't know what you call it. I did know. Somebody. I, I, when I learned this out of a book. But I just take my thumb and I try to. But they have a coating on there, that, that stuff that's around those seeds is a coating. And there is a process called fermentation. Uh, I have seen GG Plus the Beard do this. Uh, I have seen several different other channels that, that do the fermentation. And y'all, it works just as good, just takes a little longer. I like to do it this way because I can get over here and do this and then get the junk out of my way. Uh, because I'm making pottery in here and I, I've got enough stuff sitting around. So that's my reason for doing it this way. Uh, and I, I'm, them seeds that's over there in them plates is all fixing to have to go stack up somewhere. I've got some. But once they dry in that plate over there, then I put them in little small Ziploc bags. And they go, usually all of my seeds go into the freezer. That prevents bugs. If there is any weevils in like my corn, I've got a little bowl of corn that, that y'all seen there was weevils the other day in it. Stick that in the freezer and that get, that'll get kill them weevils off of it. Uh, so, And I'm sure I'll lose a few seeds, y'all. If you do this every year, I don't, I don't need but about seven, eight, or ten seeds for next year. Because I'm not going to plant. In fact, next year, I may not plant so many different varieties. Uh, I may stick to a simpler deal next year. You get excited at gardening time, and you plant a whole bunch of stuff. And then this time of year, you, honest to God, y'all, you can't even give it away. Uh, most of the people that will take stuff and fool with what you give them has already done food with and put up enough that they are sick of it. So... And that, them pieces right there, I'm going to actually take and give to the chickens, so I'm not going to put them down the drain. Now this here, they is, this was a rotten spot. I'm not going to fight that. Okay, here we go. Let me take my pieces and put them in there, and I'll take all that out there and throw it. That's chicken feed now. All right, here's what I wanted to show you. Make sure y'all... Make sure y'all turn where you can see here. All right. Everything extra goes down the drain. I got a few in the drain, but I ain't going to. We're not going to cry over that. All right. Here we go. I just take my finger, and you rub it round and round and round in there. It just takes a minute. It ain't no long while now. It's going to take these pieces like that. I pick it up. Well, I dropped it again. Wash it. There ain't no seed left on there. You can throw it down the sink. But you're rubbing right there, you're getting that coating off. That coating will rub off. You're basically sanding it off against the bottom of that mesh. Now, don't get a mesh that's so big your seeds go through it. It's got to gotta keep the seeds. I've been using this one for a few years, so I know it works. That's why it hangs right up here on the wall. I don't take this one in the house and use it to sell wheat or flour or nothing like that. We got one of them little sister jobs with the handle on the side. You go wop, 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 you know? <laughs> I don't know how much we even use it. I did have a big old plate of biscuits this morning. I'll say that from a real boat. She did make me a big old pan of biscuits. Me and Brody done had us a biscuit. But y'all, you see, I'm just about done. I mean, this don't really take that long. It just takes a minute, a minute or two. And you just rub them seeds around in there and that coating comes off. And you kind of wash them down in there. Now make sure you get one of these things that's big enough you can work in it. Don't get a little bitty one, you know, about like a cup. But now what we'll do, I'm going to go over them one more time just because I want to be sure. Now once you plant them, if that coating is still on there, they'll still come up, but it'll take us several extra days. Because that coating will have to deteriorate off of there.
So if you, if you save your own seed and you're having trouble with it, that might be one of your deals. You gotta get that cooking off of there. Ah, right, now, watch how we do this. Get this out of the way. Get my seed thing over there. It's already labeled. It says brandy wine. This is the type of it. And this is a good tomato. And look at there, y'all. Look how easy. There's all my tomato seeds. Be ready to garden next spring when we get all excited about it again. It ain't 200 degrees outside. Oh, I'm going to lay that right there and let that dry. I got a mess made. Take these over here and lay them down. So that's all my tomatoes done that I'm going to do this year. Oh, look here. That's some of my zipper cream seed. That's about what the deer left me. That ain't a lot, but it'll plant a few days. But I actually have another whole Ziploc bag in there. So anyway, I got another tomato or two I'm going to do. I've got a big beef. So I am going to do another one more variety. Show you one more thing. Now, I know that air conditioner is roaring and you can't hear nothing. But this right here is my zinnia seeds. Now what I did is I went out there and popped them whole tops off them zinnias. You see what I'm saying? I just threw them in this bag and left it open. I want it to dry out really, really good. And uh, I just got the whole thing in there, y'all. When I know they dry, because some of them was a little bit green, like I worried about, see, some of that wouldn't really dry it out good. These were my really, really big ones. So I just mixed them all together because I don't really care if they get mixed up, separated. But I got them sitting under that air conditioner. It helps kind of dry them out. So I've still got some seed from planting season and that is all of my seed. So I am going to pull all of this out. Make sure weevils hadn't got in it. See, I've still got white corn from last year. Looks like it may have got some like it might have gotten damp I think it's all right too. I'm gonna leave it open right here make sure it dries out good before I put it back in the freezer I have got G90 I have still got plenty of my rattlesnake pole beans so I'm probably not gonna save any of them it looks like a little mousey rat done chewed a hole right there so that's the reason you can't lay stuff out Critters will get in it, go to eating on it, bugs will get in it. We have got different kind of peas here that I had left over. And see, there is some more zipper cream. So what I'll do is I'll pour, let me show you. These are plenty dry. I knew I had plenty of them. So I just got that old bucket from Christmas there. And see, that's, that's, that's a good amount of zipper cream seed. But we'll get them in the freezer here for long. Well, y'all done had to listen to that run long enough now. But anyway, thank you for watching the Spirit of That. I've got several videos I'm going to try to cover this week, so y'all may see a bunch of videos this week. But anyway, that'll be all right. We've got to get them done. Uh, so don't forget, save your seed. Whatever you're planning on growing next year, you need to be pulling out peppers. Peppers is easy. Pull that core of seed out, lay it in a bowl, just let it dry. Them seeds will sprout. Uh, peppers is probably one of the easiest to do. I got tomato seeds on my shirt. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Y'all have a good one. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. Now, we'll see y'all.